Hi, this is the video explaining the follow, unfollow and request following uh, functionality, which is done a bit differently than a usual uh, approach in a DALO. Uh, in usual approach, you have the many-to-many -many relationship and uh, this functionality is implemented uh, using a separate table. So uh, let me first show how it works. Uh, this is the account of the influencer uh, I'm going to follow. And this is the uh, account of the other uh, person. I call it a follower. So as you can see, there are two mm, uh, user accounts to be followed. So I can uh, view the profile. I can send the follow request. Uh, influencer can answer the request. As you can see, demo user status requested. So I can say OK status will change to accepted and here I can uh, follow uh, as you can see the uh, I'm following this user also I can pause following uh, still from the influencer perspective the status will change to uh, paused uh, or then I can follow again and again this is status uh, back to accepted or I can unfollow totally uh, and there is no uh, request, uh, no follow, no following a request anymore. So you don't have any uh, followers. So, uh, and here again, I can uh, send friend request and cancel. And um, also this is all implemented. Uh, so uh, let me explain how it works. Uh, it's very simple. In this application, I have the uh, just two tables. Uh, the first is uh, users uh, table. Uh, in addition to the standard um, properties, I have picture and I have a relationship to the relationships table. So this is a relationship I am a follower and relationship I am an influencer. And relationship table is the uh, collection, is the table collection where all the following follower, influencer, follower relationships are stored. So uh, let me run once again the demo. For example, I'm gonna following uh, the mm, this user, and I will also follow this user. And uh, uh, let me accept uh, the request from the demo user. And if you have a look at the relationship table, uh, it hasn't been yet uh, mm, refreshed. So this this is an old record, and it is cached, which is I will reload it and you'll see that the, there is uh, no record uh, of like this anymore. So uh, yeah, there are just two records. Uh, and here in the database, you will see that there are two requests. So the follower is demo user one, influencer is two and three, you've seen two requests. And the first uh, a request status is requested and the second one is accepted. So uh, what I'm doing here is I'm storing the relationship between two users in a separate uh, table. So uh, this table, I have the name field, which is just for information purposes. I have the follower relationship. So uh, each relationship can have only one user as a follower and one user as an influencer. From user perspective, uh, I can have many uh, relationships as a follower and many relationships as an influencer. And also I have a status uh, field, which is a text field where I store the status of the uh, relationship between two users. So as you understand, uh, in a normal uh, case, uh, two users, uh, if there is a rela relationship between two users, you can have only one record in the table. So how it's implemented in the app? Uh, again, very simple, just three screens. So here I have the list of users uh, where email is not equal to logged in user so that I'm not following myself. And from this screen, I can go to two screens, uh, the view profile of the user and my account. So view profile is the screen where I, uh, as a user, follow, unfollow and request the, to follow the uh, user. So on view profile screen, uh, the available data is a current user. So this is information about current user, the influencer. And then I have uh, four groups of actions. Uh, 
uh, each group is visible dependent on the status of the uh, request and its exact relationship and its existing. So the first group is uh, you're not following this user. So this group is sometimes visible and it's visible only if a number of relationships count uh, and the email of the uh, of the follower is equal to logged in user email and relationship user email of the influencer is equal to current user email so to this influencer email so if this uh, count number of relationship records relationship in the table is equal to zero only then i will display the this uh, group and uh, what this group does is uh, this follow button is actually creates the relationship. So uh, when I press this button as a follower, uh, I create a relationship and I put logged in user as a follower, current user as an influencer and put the status requested. So uh, why do I need the requested status? Uh, by um, in the question in the forum, there was a uh, request to have a requested status to so that an influencer can accept uh, the follower request. So this is used here. So uh, this is the my account screen where uh, influencer uh, accepts the following requests. I will come uh, to this screen a bit later. So uh, then there are three other button groups. Uh, actually, these are not just the groups. These are the lists. These are three lists. Uh, all three lists, uh, they are lists of relationship. So uh, what I need uh, to have uh, here is the list of relationships between the influencer, which is current user here, and the follower who is logged in user. So all these three lists are filtered by relationship. The first one if is uh, displayed when I have the friend re friends request. So it's a list of relationships filtered by logged in user relationships where the uh, influencer email is equal to current user email and where status is equal to requested. So uh, if uh, there is a record in the database like, like uh, this one, then uh, you will have this list displayed. So uh, the only thing user can do is press cancel button. Uh, so it uh, deletes the relationship and then the, uh, the, the request is deleted and so nothing is left and you have back uh, this, uh, this group uh, displayed back. So if um, influencer accepts the relationship, this is the list of relationships where I can update the current relationship and change the status to accepted. So when uh, influencer accepts the relationship, then uh, you have the second list displayed. Again, it's the uh, list of uh, relationship filtered by logged in user uh, relationship and that influencer email is equal to current user email. And then I'm using the status of accepted here. So when I change when influencer changes here the status to accepted. This list disappears and this list appears automatically. So this means that uh, the relationship, uh, the, the following request has been accepted. So there is an accepted relationship. And uh, from here, I decide to do two options uh, pause and unfollow. Unfollow is more simple one. It's just deletes the record in the relationship database. So there is no more record between uh, a connection between the um, influencer and follower. So as a consequence, none of these three lists is displayed and uh, this group will be displayed. And uh, here there is an action to pause the following. So it updates the relationship and changes the status to paused. And probably you have already guessed that the fourth, the fourth list is the same list filtered by the status equal to paused. And with follow again button, you update back the relationship uh, to uh, accept it. 
And uh, so the main logic is here. Uh, this list and my account page is um, serves for uh, accepting the uh, relationship request. So it's logged in user relationships. Uh, and uh, you see all requests here. And the only uh, action available is to uh, this button OK when uh, current relationship status is equal to requested, then I can press OK and update the data of the relationship to accept it. So then means that there is a kind of a connection between two users. Uh, of course, this uh, logic could be expanded to uh, blocked, to temporarily paused or uh, rejected or whatever. Uh, so the upside of such approach is that usually the uh, database uh, works much faster in uh, this setup than in many to many connections, in many to many relations. And also there is an opportunity to store more information uh, about the uh, relationship between two users, uh, the influencer and the follower. Uh, you can store data, you can store, I don't know, some messages or whatever. So uh, I hope uh, this was useful. Uh, thank you and see you soon.